Hello and welcome to the tour of 20 Laffin Street here in Coombs. This is a fantastic property and why? It's a builder's home. We all know builders put the best inclusions, uh, the best features and of course the best location. Now this house is literally one house away from the Molongolo River. So there's fantastic walks and nature paths and we're going to see more of that shortly. But first of all what we want to talk about is the block. So this is a completely single level, the block and also the house is completely single level. You don't see many of those properties around. So if you've got a family, an extended family, you've got young kids, you've got elderly, there's no steps to navigate here whatsoever. So there's five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a double garage. Now the tour does start out here a little. So first of all, we can see heaps of room here in the driveway uh, for four cars. You've got a really big double garage to the side, and there's also side access as well. Now lots of love inside the home, so welcome, come on in. Welcome inside. The first thing you're going to notice is this beautiful timber flooring. This is spotted gum timber flooring and it extends throughout the entire home. So there's no carpet anywhere uh, in the property. So we're going to start the tour here in bedroom five. So bedroom five is located right at the front of the property. It can easily be used as a bedroom. It would also make a fantastic home office. One thing I wanted to point out, there is this uh, door here. So you do have a separate access point uh, should you want to, uh, again, bring clients or whatever it might be. Uh, the entire home does have a ducted reverse cycle system which is zoned to many areas but this room also has its own separate split system as well. So a really nice uh, nice room and for convenience whether you can use it for guests or whatever it might be you've got the third bathroom just here. So this is a, a all the bathrooms are really really nicely done. You've got feature full height tiling, lots of niches. Again being a builder's home the level of inclusions throughout as you'd expect is just fantastic. Storage is everywhere. You can never have enough storage too. So we've got double cloak cupboard just here at the front of the property uh, and we're going to see lots more cupboards coming in soon. Now as you enter you've got one of three living areas. So this is a really nice uh, living area. You've got an electric fireplace uh, to the rear there. Uh, again really nice attention to detail as part of that. So more for uh, just enjoying a nice glass of wine but if you want to warm things up a little bit that you can. Looking up you're going to see a range of feature lighting throughout the home. They've done a, a really good attention to detail with the lighting. You've got these high rake ceilings just welcoming in that uh, abundance of light. So this is more east on this side so getting all that morning sun coming through. And again that really flows into the second living area which is the, uh, the meals area and you can see uh, this is huge so you can comfortably fit a really big eight seater dining table. If you had a 10 or 12 seater you could probably fit that as well. There's heaps of space depending on how you want to use this zone. Now the third living area, the family area, uh, this is again massive and can be divided into two. So you've got some really nice built-in features uh, here if you want to incorporate this for your television and stereo systems and things as well. Um, but what can be done for those that want to have the uh, a rumpus to uh, enclose the space, this was actually designed to be that, uh, that, that space. So uh, doors could be added along here. The builder's even happy to talk to you and customise something for your needs. So you could keep it open like it is now, but if you wanted that rumpus, so you've got the kids, the doors could be added along here, and then you'd have another two completely separate zones. So you can have kids in here and family in here, or however you want to use it, the choice is yours. But most importantly, you've got space. And when you have space, you have options. Uh, so lots of options in terms of how you want to use it for your furniture, your lifestyle, your choice. So really, really beautiful zones uh, throughout the home continuing on and an absolutely spectacular kitchen as you would expect. So first of all you've got this 60 mil Calcutta stone which extends all the way, got the waterfall edging as well. Uh, a really really nice uh, classy feature. Um, in terms of the uh, inclusions, really high level of inclusions throughout. So you've got tons and tons of cupboards and drawers, all soft clothes. Now starting with the cooktop. So this is a Bosch 900 mil induction cooktop but there is the provision uh, for gas so if you prefer gas cooking there's actually a gas point just under here so everything has been thought of like a good builder would do. Okay, a range of features, a nice, uh, nice inclusion here is the design of this uh, kitchen bench just here so this is a eat in meals area so this can comfortably fit four people here 
I'm six foot one, I'm not tiny, but I could comfortably fit here, or you could have the kids here, however you want to use it. So another really good uh, design feature too. Okay, all built in is your fridge and freezer. So this is a Millet fridge freezer combination here. So this will stay with the property. And then for all your cooking and preparation needs, you've got not one, but two ovens. There's also a microwave steam oven combination and the all important coffee maker here. So get really, really nice high level inclusions uh, as part of that. And then having a look around again, you can see the extra feature lighting that they've done. And this truly comes alive uh, as you'd expect at nighttime. Okay, follow me. The kitchen continues, the all important butler's pantry. So this can be completely closed off by this sliding door. So you've got even more cupboards and storage in here. You've got stone bench tops. Just to the left as well, there's another fridge cavity. So you can put another nice big double fridge. There's even plumbing up there. So you can add water to the fridge as well. So lovely, lovely feature. Then you've got the, uh, the double garage with internal access. So quite a big double garage. You've got ducted vacuum uh, over here, and then you've also got more st storage and cupboards here on this side. Uh, just off here is the laundry, so again, nice uh, inclusions with the stone tops, lots of cupboards. Uh, underneath here is designed for your uh, washer and also dryer uh, to go as part of that, and then directs uh, access to the side yard, and we can see a little bit more of that shortly. Extra cupboards and kind of more pantries on each side. There's uh, again storage galore. And one of the things that I did mention previously was the uh, so ducted reverse cycle heating and cooling. And here you can see the control for that. And then that actually into five separate zones. So you can use that however you and the family wish. Now let's check out the other bedrooms. Now this wing of the home features four more bedrooms and two more bathrooms. And again, completely single level. As you see, all of the bedrooms are really, really generous in size. So you could fit king size beds in all of these. They've got really nice uh, storage inclusions. So they've got full height robes with all custom cabinetry. So a range of shelves and hanging space uh, as part of that. So uh, no one misses out in terms of a bedroom. Everyone gets a fantastic space. Then you've got the main bathroom just to the side here. So again, the same fantastic uh, color scheme and inclusions that we saw in the first bathroom, but it's only bigger. Of course, it features a really nice freestanding bath. Uh, again, really high-end uh, finishes, finishes that we saw throughout. Really big shower. We've got the rain shower, the rail shower. There's a seat in there to, to shave your legs and sit down and relax. Uh, and everything's just, again, beautifully finished. Coming on down the corridor, we're gonna see another one of the uh, bedrooms. Again, very similar to what we just saw, maybe even a tiny little bit bigger. So heaps and heaps of space for all of the family. You've got uh, robes, again, one mirrored, one with a glass finish. And again, lots of that fantastic storage, all custom throughout. Lighting's really nice, there's a range of different lighting in the different rooms. More storage, there's a double cupboard in here as well, with some of the connection points for, for data and things. So another good uh, linen cupboard here. And then come on to this bedroom here. This has a number of uh, additions, so extra cupboards uh, and shelves that are, that are up there, easily removed if you didn't want them. But again, you can see the, the grandeur of each of these bedrooms, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. And sometimes people do take shortcuts on the kids' bedrooms, but they haven't here. And then we've saved the best to last. So welcome into the uh, main bedroom, the master suite. So really, really good size. Again, the biggest bedroom of the house. Uh, on the sides, you've got built-in uh, cabinetry. So this is all uh, built-in side tables, heaps of space. You get views out to the hills here, which is really lovely. And then for all your storage needs, you've got his and hers walk-in robes. So not one, you've got two walk-in robes. So heaps of space in there. You've got extra drawers uh, here as well that you'll see. So drawers here, drawers here, lots of hanging. That's just one of them. And then uh, the second one as well. So coming on in, all, in, all important mirrors to check yourself out. And then further storage options. So a really, really nice finish. And then of course, the ensuite. So same uh, inclusions what we saw before. Lots of, uh, lots of storage at eye level, extra drawers here too and then two bowl sink and as mentioned previously so you've got the rain shower you've got the rail shower and the seat so you can relax shave your legs whatever you want to do 
Okay, let's check outside. So to get outside, there's these sliding double glazed stacker doors. So you can open these right up and just welcome in that fresh air and that beautiful uh, easterly sunshine. So another really good extension of the living area, which is um, kind of in two zones. So first of all, you've got this really nice alfresco area, which is built uh, extending over here. So again, fully covered, really nice timber features. You've got lights, you've got the fan. Uh, so again, it just flows really, really nicely. And then just under that, you've got a pergola. So again, that just kind of extends this covered, covered area. Directly at the end, you've got the barbecue. So this is all built in, the barbecue and kitchen. You've got stone tops here, you've got the sink. Uh, you've got another burner here. And of course, the all important barbecue. Again, just continuing to flow on. A little bit more decking here, and then out to the side, where you've got the side access through the uh, gate. The gate and all the fences are color bond. Uh, have a look over here. So I've got some really nice stone feature walls. So uh, there's one here and another one here. And you might've seen another one at the front of the property too. To so each side, you've got these really nice water features, which uh, they're happy to leave as part of that. Now there's no grass to mow, again, it's completely low maintenance. One thing I did want to show you here, this is a really good second uh, living area, again, as the deck comes out here. But uh, previously, they had an option here to have a swim spa. So if you've got to want to do a swim spa or a spa, you just have to lift this deck up. You've got the option to put it underneath. You've got the, uh, the plumbing and all the electrical ready to go uh, as part of that. Again, the deck continues and wraps around. You've got the secondary zone here. This is all uh, fake grass, astroturf. So again, no time to uh, spend on the weekends mowing it. Uh, then you've got this nice little uh, mini pergola here. So this is actually accessed from the main bedroom. So if mum and dad want to get away from the kids and come out here and have their morning coffee or tea and just enjoy those views to the hill, you can certainly do that as well. A few little veggie patches here, so you can choose your herbs and things that you grow. You've got your water tank, and there's a really big storage room. So have a look at this. It's kind of twice the size of a normal storage shed for all your bits and pieces. And here we are, the Malongolo River, literally a one minute walk away from your doorstep. So if you want to get outside, get some fresh air, stretch the legs, take the dog for a walk, take the kids outside, come and feed the ducks, just be one with mother nature. This is literally on your doorstep. All right, if you're like me and you've got kids, you're gonna love playgrounds. This playground is literally a two minute walk away from the property. Heaps of space out here for the kids. And then you've got this fantastic pond here as well. So again, lots of great walks to get outside. Love it. So there you have it, a fantastic home in a marvelous location. The builder has put the best of everything in, so you don't have to. All you have to do is come along, buy it, and enjoy it for many, many years to come. We're super excited and we can't wait to get you through very, very soon.